I'd like to call the meeting to order at 6.03 p.m. Um, and then our purpose for this evening is really just uh, to look at the warning for the annual meeting and the budget um, and then act to adopt to that and then we'll have an executive session related to negotiations and then we will proceed on to the full board meeting. So I know we received that information, the warning this afternoon. Um, I don't know if we can project that um, while we discuss it. I had a question and this may be my understanding because I was reading it quickly when I got home from work. So this may be about my flawed understanding more than it's about the document itself. Um, but I noticed that the warning for the informational meetings reads like the one for the annual meeting. And I didn't know if that was something different for this different year. Um, but I just, I wondered about that. So. Oh, that's. I wondered if anyone that might that had it. Like I was just thinking that it's because there's discussion on those items and you know, we can't have that on the Australian ballot version. So. I okay. Don't. But I was thinking about that. Do you think we could remove the um, public comment at the beginning? Because it seems like we don't get into the, like we got 15 minutes for kind of the budget discussion portion of things. And then we go five minutes for each other. It seems like if we did our presentation, then we had public comment. And that took like the first half hour, and then we went over the individual articles. That might be a better structure for us. Yeah, I'm just noticing that there's public comment built in after each section. And in the past, I, I think we've done a presentation, and then we open the floor for comments and questions. And I'm just concerned that the flow of, of the evening is going to be really incredibly choppy. Right. Well, I mean, in a normal meeting, like each of these articles will come up for a vote and there'll be discussion during the voting period. So I think this is kind right. of that where you have the article come up, you have discussion, and then there'll be a vote. And in this case, the article we have discussion and everybody goes away for a while and then we vote. Yep. Yeah. So um, I think maybe that's kind of how we need to do this just so that we can have on each of those but it's just like it seems like there should be a longer like we should present the information and then have public comments and have that be a longer section after we do our presentation anyway hey andrew um when you're talking it's really really choppy is there any way to make your sound um a little better i don't know I mean, um, let me try putting this. I was, had it on my lap. Let me move over here. The same thing that I've been doing in all the other meetings. I think sometimes there's just something in the in the air or the internet or whatever, because um, mine's not usually a problem. But tonight with the policy committee, um, I just couldn't hear people well, and they were really choppy. So. Um, Do you need me to repeat what I was saying, or did everybody get that? Yeah, the last piece, if you could, that would be really helpful. Oh, just, I mean, I was, I think we do need to have discussion on each item individually, but I think the part at the beginning where we give our, like, if we can just have that, us do our presentation kind of when people first show up, and then have a larger public comment for that at the end, as opposed to two, you know, if we have people comment before we've done anything, and then go into... The rest of it, it seems like that'll, I don't know. So, so you're yeah. asking to get rid of the public comment at 5.05 on the agenda, but we'll right. keep the public comment that would be at 5, well, after our 5.15 presentation. Right. So, I mean, I would just say, call the, like, I don't know that we need five minutes for call to order, but. 
you know, if we have the presentation at 505 or whatever, and then public comment after that until we start the other stuff. Mm -hmm. That that makes sense to me. Yeah, me too. Okay. Should we schedule more time for the presentation? Like 15 minutes seems pretty quick for presentation and public comment. Uh, you know, probably at least a half hour. Should be 5.15 to 5.45 if we're just using the times that they're listed or Sure. That makes sense to me. I don't think we've ever finished. I mean, I don't think our presentations have been lengthy. Um, There's usually the most discussion on that. Right. I don't think we've ever gotten one done in 15 minutes, though. So right. I think giving ourselves a little bit more time. Um, and then if we end a little bit earlier than that half an hour or whatever we allocate, then I don't think anybody's going to be upset with us for moving on to public comment. Um, but I'd hate to only give ourselves 15 minutes and feel like we were um, under some time pressure. Yeah, I wonder if there would be a way to combine the other articles, just say like review each article individually and then public comment at the end of that on each. So instead of have well, I guess no. I guess it's better to kind of mimic the annual meeting format. I don't right. know. Gotta, it'll be fast. I think each yeah. one of them. It won't take the full five minutes. I don't think. Mm hmm. So I think because of when these need to be warned and when they would need to be made public, um, when we get it to a point that we think it's ready to go we'll need to um, make a motion to approve it as amended, right? Right. Right. Okay. Are there any other things that people um, need to see changed or questions you have about this warning? So just for clarification for the notes, um, we call the order at five at five oh five. We start the reports of the school district board, and then it's at we want to go to five forty five. Five oh five to five thirty. Okay. okay, that's probably fine. And then if we need to, we can always. Like we have public comment at the end, so we can say we're going to take a break in this discussion to go over the warnings individually as scheduled. And then once we're done with that, we go back to the general discussion. All right. So then everything else will be, um, we might, if we're going to allow for public comment, are you thinking that we're going to go to Article 4 at 530 or do we want to have that a little bit later then? I mean, our meeting goes till our, our regular board meeting wouldn't start till six o'clock. So we have a little wiggle room here, mm -hmm. um, but possibly the 545 uh, topic with budget um, might have some discussion. So that might, yeah. we might need those 15 minutes there. Yeah. I think leaving that time there makes sense to me. 15 minutes goes by so fast when people yeah. are asking budget questions, et cetera. Okay. Then um, it'll just, the reports of the school district board starts at 5-5 five five, mm -hmm. and everything else will be on the same schedule. 5-30 is article four, 34, 5-35 is article five and et cetera. 5-40 is article six and then 5-45 as written. I think for the, yeah, that seems good. Um, do we have that discussion of other non-binding business stuff in the first one? I couldn't quite see. Where's that? Uh, pull it up on my computer. 
Yeah, I think we can get rid of the discussion of not writing business because we have a school board meeting immediately after which we can discuss other business at. Okay. And then put six o'clock for entertain motion to adjourn. But yeah. I, we really need to have that in the warning. I don't, I personally don't feel like it harms anything. And I know that they're under a time crunch. So I wouldn't, unless it helps us to revise it, I guess I'm thinking. I don't know if it's worth it, I guess is what I'm okay. trying to consider. All right. Well, I would definitely get rid of the discussion of non but other non betting business, just yeah. since we have the other meeting and then put six o'clock for the time to adjourn for the first one and seven o'clock for the second. Yeah. And I don't know if we want to have a discussion of other non-binding business in the second meeting when we don't have another meeting immediately after. Lisa? Yes, Owen. I was bumped out and I'm the one presenting. Do you want me to present something? I, I have. I, 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 um, I think we all have it. Did we? Was it useful to people to have Owen presenting um, the warning for those meetings? What's your preference? Do we have any time? What's that? I think we might be all set with it since. Mm -hmm. I think we've kind of figured out the discussion. If we yeah, if we want to be consistent between the two meetings, I mean, you could just leave the discussion of non-binding stuff in both of them because then in parentheses afterwards it says if applicable, and you know if we don't have anything else to discuss, we can just say it's not applicable and and then move on to closing the meeting. I think it would be a little. Some people might question it if we have one, if the agendas look slightly different between the two meetings. Yeah, I think they should be identical. I was going to suggest, even though it sounds like we're micromanaging, um, that the notes reflect that the, the edits that we are saying we need for the February 16th meeting also need to apply to the March 1st. Okay. Why don't we yeah. do that at 550 and keep all the articles five minutes of review and discussion. And then at 550, we'll have the other non-binding discussion and at six, the motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Or 555 other non-binding? We're gonna want 10 minutes to talk about Article seven. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we're just kind of putting in a in as a placeholder anyway. So you might as well just have all the articles be five minutes, and then it's just discussion after that. Okay. But I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So in looking at our agenda, um, it seems like we need to maybe transition to a discussion of the annual meeting um, warning, which everyone should have been emailed this afternoon as well. Um, it has the same articles as what we just discussed because the informational meeting um, notice obviously is pulled directly from this. Um, I'm just going to double check the dates just to make sure we have the right date. Yep. Okay. So March 2nd, 2021. All right. Is this Does the one anyone... Jamie said there's a 
Jamie said there's a typo in here, and I don't know where it is, but um, if there is something, he'll send us an updated version. But as soon as he emailed this to all of us, it said that there was a typo, and he would send an update. Tara said one out later that I think was updated. What's that? Oh, this is an updated one that Tara sent. I think I think the one I'm looking at is the updated one. I, I mean I read it quickly, but normally Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that warning looked fine to me. The one terrorist. Okay. Out. All right. So um anybody else have questions or anything they want to discuss about the about the warning? Nothing. Um, does anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the warning for the annual meeting. I guess we can do that one and then the other one as amended. Okay. Um, so that would be for the, I just, just to be really specific, the White River Valley Unified District 2021 annual meeting warning. Yes. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor of approving the White River Valley Unified District 2021 annual meeting warning, please say aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. So the warning is approved. Um, and then the notice for the special meetings or for the informational meetings. I'll make a motion to approve the notice for the informational meetings on February 16th and March 1st. Thank you. As amended. Is there a second for that? I'll second it. Okay, any discussion? Okay, all in favor of approving the notice for the informational meetings on February 16th, 2021 and March 1st, 2021, please say aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, so that notice passes as well, thank you. Um, so it seems like we're supposed to have an executive session related to negotiations, um, except for there's, there's Jamie Canarney's not here. I don't know who's supposed to be, um, doing that update for us. Okay. Um, I'm going to send. Hi. Uh, this is Joe Lavasser. I'm, I'm really um, unsure if I'm doing all this correctly, so I apologize if I'm out of turn, but. It's okay. I'm wondering about some questions I have about the budget. Are these some, uh, some of the things that will be discussed in these informational meetings? Um, I, I'm looking at the pages 15 and 16 of the uh, budget that was online and. Uh, the tax rate increase and such. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure if I can speak to somebody outside of this meeting about some of these questions or if you need to have me ask them now. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely um, call the business <clears throat> office and talk to Tara or Jamie or any of us um, outside of this meeting. Um, I don't have the budget opened up right in front of me. I can I can get there. Um, um, so, well, let's, yeah, if you want to give me a call after, like tonight, um, you know we have the supervisory union meeting after this. But um, is this Andrew? I can talk to you. Do you want? Yeah, this is Andrew. If you want to talk to me tomorrow, I can talk to you about budget stuff. Okay. Um, can you give me your number? Sure. 
9359. 9359? That's right. What time? Uh, how about 9.30 or 10? 9.30 or 10. That's good. Okay. Okay, very good. And the other question is, um, because I'm trying to get ahead on writing these things for the paper, um, I saw that two people, one from each town, were not going to run for re-election on the school board. And I wondered if there's anybody been coming forward to uh, run, and, and perhaps you could tell me which seats those were. Yeah, um, so Rodney Rainville from Bethel has elected um, not to run this term, and Robert Gray from Royalton has elect elected not to run. I haven't heard of anyone who's chosen um, to run. I believe today was the deadline, right, for the paperwork to be into the town, the town clerk. So yes, my and these are both three year seats now that uh, that all has all come through the system of uh, transition, right? That that is correct. Okay, good. All right. Well, um, I won't trouble you anymore right now because I no can. Speak to Andrew tomorrow and whatnot. Um, thank you. All right, thank you. So I, I texted Jamie. My suspicion is he's busy with other boards, but um, um, have you taken a look at the edits for the letter that I sent in? Yesterday? Yeah, I liked those. I appreciate okay. that. Um, if other people haven't taken a look at that yet. Um, Jamie needs it by Wednesday, so we'll put like a greeting and a closure, all of those things on it. Um, but but we made a draft and shared it. Um, so please take a look at that in your Google Docs. Yeah, the one thing that we still need is that like I put in like ten percent for the health insurance increase. I know it was a lot, but I don't know what the actual number was. So yeah I, right yeah, I shared it with Tara as well. So hopefully, maybe we can tag her in a comment. Yeah. Um, and she can put that specific information in. All right. All righty. Well, I don't think that Jamie's going to be able to update us in five minutes. Maybe we'll have to stay on after the full board meeting. Um, oh, here he is. Great. I was just about to give that up. That always makes me nervous when I jump in a meeting and they say, here he is. Okay. Yeah, we're ready for um, executive session, so we'll need to stop recording. Um, and who would you like to have in for this executive session? I think I could probably take it from here with the board. Okay, so with just the board. All right, thank you. So you want us to leave probably? Yes. So administrators and public will need to leave at this point in time. Master agreement between the supervisor union and the, our district and the support staff for 2021. Is there a second of that motion? I'll second it. OK. Any discussion? All right. All in favor of um, accepting the or the contract between the WRVSU and the support staff, please say aye for 2021. Aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? No abstentions. I saw everyone say aye and raise your hands. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. Uh, we have a motion to adjourn to go to the the next meeting. I'll just double check. Um, yep, it sounds like we're ready to go. Yep. Seems like we're ready to go. So I'll make a motion to adjourn. All right. We'll adjourn at six thirty.